Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? It was crazy to let her come with me. She's trying to help out, but she just gets in the way. I'll have to talk to her later. What was that meeting with Charles Kramer at the golf club really about? Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? S Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yes, of course! Well... Good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Oh, at my age, time means nothing anymore. I, I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. Well, how about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this this calls for a celebration. I'm just a thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Nice to see Manfred again. Just like old times. Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. Nothing much changed here. Just the dust and the clocks ticking on and on. Well, to old friends. It's beautiful. It's a Stradelli. Crafted in Venice in the 18th century. Mm. It's one of my favorite pieces. Tell me, Scott. What brings you back after all these years? I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Oh. Let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the... Uh magnifying glass from behind the counter. Oh, sure, please. I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me.
thanks. Well, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. The Royal Five. And yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. No doubt about it, it's a Royal Five. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Yes, indeed. At least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes and I'll be right back with the list. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. Killer's name might be in Manfred's papers. Been a while since Manfred went into his office. Let's take a look. Lauren thinks she's about to find the killer. I'm afraid she's going to be disappointed. Been a while since Manfred. Manfred! Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? Scott? <gasps> oh my god. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be a scapegoats. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. We better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. What are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. We got to get out of here fast. Where did we leave Prince? Gotta remember. Fast.
You can be much longer. The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. Don't forget to clean Lawrence Prince, too. Don't want her to be mixed up in this. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? Hang tight. I'll just check one last time I haven't forgotten anything. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. So, you claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop, correct? Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with his murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? Well, well, Scott Shelby. You in trouble again? Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat it. I'll take care of it. For old time's sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. You on to anything at the moment? Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage, you'd tell me about it, wouldn't you, Scott? Sure. Where are we going? I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We were partners, remember? We had a deal. This isn't a game, Lauren. Manfred was murdered because he knew the identity of the killer. He was ten feet away, for Christ's sake. No. I can't take a chance on the killer getting that close to you again. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I've got to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. You're gonna be a good girl, you're gonna go home, and let me get on with my investigation. Stop the car. What? Stop the fucking car! This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. It's 
such an idiot. I better catch up with her. I can't just leave her like that. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. Laura! him once again in my arms. What do you want? Oh, fuck it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies at my door. If you want to score, man, you gotta fucking call first. Come on. Beat it. Are you deaf or what? I should get out of here! You're gonna cause me trouble, and I don't like trouble! Fuck off! Hey! Take it easy, man! Huh? Keep cool! <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need! I'm sure we can make a deal, huh? I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! You think you can come into my house and steal my dope? You're gonna be shooting up in hell, you motherfucker! Goddamn, punk! I'm gonna blow your brains out! Get out of here! Go die somewhere else! Mad? It's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt. Be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later.
The owner of the apartment where Ethan was supposed to cut his finger lives here. Not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Betrofen without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. So, you're looking for Betropid, my dear? Are oh, you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. Sure, why not? I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? I met a guy at a party. He popped some betropin. Told me he got it from you. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. Having some trouble? Didn't your mother ever warn you about accepting gifts from strangers? <laughs> He claimed he had come to the senses. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I rented it to my friend Paco, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> To be honest, I don't give a damn, because as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But enough with the chit-chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Oh, do there's that sting of it. Have you ever noticed, as soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling? 
I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move. I won't be long. Hello, sir. I come to bring you the word of the Lord in the form of these magnificent Bibles, which I will gladly leave with you in return for a contribution of only five dollars. No thanks, I love it. Come now, brother. I cannot believe the word of the Lord is of no interest to you. We, his humble flock, should walk in his steps, for St. John has said... Uh, thanks a lot, but I don't need anything. Who does not need a Bible in these times of violence and hatred? Holy Scripture will bring you peace and tranquility anytime you need it. All for mere five dollars. Read my lips. No Bible for me. Buzz off. Sorry, I detest being interrupted when I'm operating. Now then, where were we? Do you believe it? There's some days when I seem to be the most popular dog in town. Uh, two seconds, and then I'm all yours. The Lord has decided to make a special effort with you, brother. He wants me to let you have this magnificent volume for a mere three dollars. All right. You convinced me. You be stepping aside. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 
Ha 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 